What's up guys? This week we got new strike options for all the yield max ETFs. We're going to be covering all of that. And uh, there's a lot of red, but the, the dividend got paid out this week. Or I guess we're getting paid on Monday, but it got stripped from the NAV this week. So pretty much every ETF is red. However, 13 out of 19 of the ETFs outperformed if you include the dividend. VIX is also going up up 17% in the past five days, so volatility is rising again, which is good. If you like these ETFs, we need the volatility to go up. If it goes up, we get more premium. However, usually when volatility is up, there's something rocky happening in the, in the market. So double-edged, I don't know. Could be good, could be bad. YMAX down 1.5%. Uh, SPY down 1%, QQQ about the same, and Bitcoin down 4%. So let's start off with MISTI or the MicroStrategy one. Last week they were at $43, now they're at $34 here, going down 20%. MISTI going down 15%, however we did outperform because the dividend got paid out and it was a huge dividend, like that dividend was worth 12%. Call strike, they got a they got a bunch again, but the average is seventeen seventy one. We have lots of room to run. Misty can go up as much as it wants, you know. Twenty three percent premium collected, pretty low actually for Misty. 078 percent. I think they wanted to put the strikes further out because everything's dipping. So uh, you know we want to capture that upside if it does happen we don't want to be capped or anything too close there Murney, they uh they're at 1966 after paying i think they paid a really good dividend though like a dollar or something uh Murney did outperform this week the new strikes are at 107 giving us four percent room to run uh premium collected 1.27 percent there next up the microsoft one uh, Microsoft's at 425. They put the strikes at 430. And uh, yes, Yield Max did slightly underperform there. Call cap, 1%. Little bit too close for my liking. Uh, but premium collected, 0.56%. So break even, we could add these two together. We could technically go up 1.56%. Uh, but it's better if those calls expire worthless because then we, we get that for free, essentially. Awork. They're at, uh, ARC is at $47. They had a really bad week, down 6%. So look how look at the big difference between SPY and ARC there. That's crazy. SPY going down 0.89%. ARC going down 6%. Wow. New coal strikes, I think they had 49.5 and 40, so the average is 49.25 giving us 4.52% room to run, and collecting, as always, 0.59% in premium. Dizzo, Dizzo actually had a big week. Uh, I think they they had votes for their board members this week. Uh, they really want to transition the company into like a, a growth stock again. Because, you know, in the COVID years or past COVID years, they were losing like $4 billion a year, which is really bad for disney they should not be losing that much money but uh apparently their q4 is going to be profitable they said which is surprising you'd expect disney to be profitable but they weren't they're at 118 call strikes were at 121 most of them being there and some at 120 giving us two percent room to run and 0.51 percent premium collected volatility will be going down on disney because of that board meeting uh I don't know who won the vote there, but there was a couple board members that really wanted to change the way Disney was going. So that vote is over. So volatility should be going down. Tesla, Tesla, look at that big drop for Tesla this week. But they did outperform if you include the dividend. Sorry, I'm still sick if my voice sounds bad here. But uh, yeah, still outperform. However, Tesla went down. 6% and is now at 164. Call strikes are way out there. We're safe. Tesla could go up 7% and look at that premium collected too. They actually didn't uh they didn't sell the options today. They sold them yesterday, so that was pretty interesting. 
I think it was because uh, the original calls were so far out of the money, there's no point holding on to them anymore. They were basically a win yesterday, so they rolled them early. <coughs> Next up is Squarey. Squarey went down almost 10%, but whatever. That's Some of that's dividend. However, look at Square as well, going down 8.76%. Yield Max did outperform, but... You know, this is crazy just seeing a lot of red this week. Don't know what's going on. We are due for a pullback here, though. I'm not worried about, about this at all. You know, the market has been going straight up since November. It's, what we're seeing here is healthy. It's not a crash. It's healthy correction, in my opinion. Call cap, 3.6%. Premium collected, a nice 1.11% there. This uh this fund is is growing pretty pretty big now too. That's interesting. Next up is JPMO. They are at uh 197 for JP Morgan. JPMO is still doing good too. Above 20, you always like seeing that. And they did outperform their underlying new calls are set up 205, so about $7 away there or four percent room to run and yeah as usual 0.46 percent premium collected next up zomo oil's going up still so zomo is like literally one of the only green stocks this week that's uh maybe that's why the market's red is because commodities are starting to run up and that that affects inflation a lot Call strikes are at 124, so about three dollars away. Two percent room to run, and about the same premium collected as JP Morgan, or as, yeah, JP Morgan. GUI, they did outperform. That's good to see. However, the call strikes are so close there, about one dollar away from Friday's close. 0.69 percent room to run, but uh, yeah, that was pretty surprising seeing them collect one point or 1.05% in premium. That's very unusual. Usually Google, you see like 0.5% there. Maybe their earnings are coming up or something. Next up is Netflix. Netflix is at 636. Netflix did underperform. And the new strikes are at 650 and 655. So about 14, $14 away-ish. 2.57% room to run and premium collected there 0.67%. So it, we are seeing the volatility go up. So we're seeing the premium collected also go up. Next up is NVIDIA. They're at 2631. NVIDIA is at 880. NVIDIA is, is definitely getting less volatile though. That's what I'm noticing. NVIDIA did outperform NVIDIA. Uh, new calls are set up at nine, ten, or thirty bucks away, giving us three point four percent room to run, which is quite low for Navidi. Uh, usually they they put the strikes further out, but uh, collecting one percent premium that is very usual to see from them. Thirteen thirty eight for AIYY. This one just keeps tumbling and tumbling down. Look at AI going down seven percent this week. However, AIYY did outperform. New calls are set up at 2638. They had a bunch of strikes going here. I think it was 26, 26.5, and 27. Gives us about 4.85% room to run, collecting 1% in premium. Next up is AMD. AMD has also been in a rut too. But uh, yeah, they went down 5%. Could be a good buy the dip opportunity. Uh, I know they have an AI chip coming out too to compete with NVIDIA. It's not out yet, I don't think. And plus it takes time to get the manufacturing ready. But in 2025, once they have that AI chip and, you know, they can satisfy orders, AMD could see substantial growth, in my opinion, there. Yield Max did outperform. AMD Y outperform AMD. New strikes are at 177.5, giving us 4% room to run and collecting 1.14% in premium. So they're collecting more in premium than NVIDIA and also being further out of the money than NVIDIA sets up their calls. So 
I think AMD might be the new, uh, AMD Y at least, might be the new king over Navidi. Next up is AMZ. We got, uh, they're at 185. Yeah, just going up every single week. Especially impressive considering this week with all the red in the market. Yield Max did not outperform, so they blew through the strikes from last week. New strikes are set up at 190. Guys, take a bet. Are they going to blow through these? Uh, I have a feeling they do. They just they just go up every week. Amazon's great company. Call cap here, 2%. And premium collected half a percent there. So good job, Amzi. Good job for going up. We should also start seeing that dividend go up too, I, I think. But th th they're still paying a respectable dividend. Oh, this one sucked. I have a lot of Phoebe, and yeah, when they started going up this week, I was like, no, they they got capped hard. This was almost like Google from a couple weeks ago, but obviously we out underperformed. Let's check where the, those strikes were from last week. So if we look at Phoebe here, yeah, so they were at 500 there. That's pretty unfortunate. We missed out on like 27 bucks worth of gains or about five six percent there and the new ones i believe they should have put these a little bit further out here 535 or eight dollars away a little scary i think we're gonna blow through these ones premium collected is very high though because you know the stock's just marching up 8.6 percent in one week but they definitely definitely could have afforded to put the strikes at 550 and collect their usual point six percent in premium next up is paypal paypal's at 65 dollars. they had a little pullback as well 2.75 percent yield max did not outperform on this one call strikes are set up at 67 dollars or three percent away and premium collected is going up 0.84 percent could be because of the volatility we're, we are seeing in the market Next up is Coney. What do we got for Coney? They're at 240, going down 9%. So Mr. went down more than Coney or Coin. Yield Max did outperform though, and new strikes are set up at 257.5. Collecting 2% in premium, and we have 7% room to run there. Perfect. I don't know. We have more room to run on Misty, though, so. Ah, uh, yeah, that, that's quite a different strategy. Misty put the the strikes way further out, but collect less less premium, while Coin or Coney put the strikes a little bit closer while collecting more premium. Which strategy do you think is better going into this week? Would you rather Coney strategy or Misty strategy? Next up is Apple here. They are at 169.58. Yield Max outperformed. And the new calls are at 172.5 and 175. Given 2% room to run here and collecting half percent in premium. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, you know, I'm having really fun with the YouTube channel lately. I appreciate all the support. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're not subscribed yet. And I'll see you in the next week's video. Thanks for watching.